think about it everybody's been wondering what's been going on uh my gloves are off now my gloves are off now and this i don't care if i have to drag it out for the next five years in court i will to prove that all the slanderous things my son has been saying about me are exactly that it's effing slander now i am standing up for my other three sons who have written music for him who he has gifted things and he's trying to take them back because that's what he does that's what he does he gives you something as soon as he, you don't do something he likes or you don't go along with him he takes everything back or at least he tries to i am the 100 percent owner of blue moon entertainment i have proof of it i have got an attorney he lies he stands in front of houses that we don't know who the hell they belong to the police gets called and he swears he owns the house that i bought the house and gifted it to somebody it was all a lie the police had to show up and tell him that he can't address it that way and that he can't come back me ryan and brandon were all business partners business partners but now they're mad at me and they're cutting me out and trying to say that everything that i've done is fraudulent Blue Moon solely belongs to me. Brandon wrote checks out of it because I allowed him to be administrator on it. So they can't act like they didn't know it didn't exist. It was put in place to protect him from himself. And now I've got to protect myself and my sons. This is to protect him because he can't stop bullying people online long enough to fucking have a clear thought. I can't go anywhere. I am done crying. Now I'm effing mad. I am very sorry for everybody who Ryan Upchurch has bullied online. I am so sorry, Katie, even though what you did was shady and not nice. You weren't there for the right reasons. But I still don't think you deserve to get what you got online and are still getting today. Nicole Arbor, I don't know what happened with you guys in the studio. He makes a lot of promises, but as soon as he's pissed, he takes those promises back. So I apologize for what my son has done to you. Zana May, I am sorry for what he's done to you because I know what it's like to be bullied now. I can't even go to the grocery store. And uh, Kylie Rodney's family, I am very sorry. I don't know what the hell is wrong with him. Also, sorry, Chase Matthews, because I'm in the same boat you are now. Everybody is harassing me out in public. I can't go anywhere. All because he's so mad that you made a decision that he didn't want you to make. And I said it to him, and I'll say it, and I said it to his guards, and I've said it to other people. If anything happens to me, it is either one of his followers behind it or one of his people that's closest to him. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of people wiping their fucking feet on me when I've done nothing but try to protect him from himself. You can't help somebody with, that, that thinks like that. What he is doing to people is dangerous because the following that he has, somebody's going to want a white knight for somebody. You know what I'm saying? They're going to want to run in and be the hero and like off, you know, up church's mom or off, you know, uh, oh my God, what's her name? Nicole Arbor. Or, like, kick Chase Matthews' ass out in public just because their leader said so. This is what we're dealing with. This is dangerous behavior, and I'm done sitting down. I am done. I am done. So there's my statement, y'all. I'm ready, and I will be in court for the next 10 years. I do not care because nobody's running over me anymore. I am sick of it. I have been deprived of sleep because of this narcissistic behavior. I can't, could, I get good sleep now. I can finally sleep for the first time. Since all this shit has happened, and actually it goes back even before because this is not new behavior. It's just new behavior with more money and uh, cult following. You have humiliated me online. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm dead online. You may as well have posted a fucking sex tape of me because I don't care anymore. You can post whatever you want because everything that you've already done, it can't be taken back. And that goes for every family who has had to endure this bullshit from my son. So let's go. Let's go to court. I'm ready. I will, we got to go all the way back. All the way back to Redneck Nation and everything. This is going to go back. So let's all get ready to audit every fucking thing. And say, who came up with Race Hill and Eat Cornbread? My son Austin has worked his ass off for you and you are shitting on him. I'm fighting for them. And everybody else that you've shit on.